ang firewall sa arawa. Okay? Kasi lumabas yan ang board exam namin. Imagine yung lumabas sa board exam namin. Okay? Lumabas ang R1 with firewall. Sabi dito, R1 walang firewall. Pero sabi ng examiner, yung project dapat may, fi may firewall. Ano magpe-prevail? Yung R1 o yung firewall? Tinanong yan sa board exam, ha? O, oh, tinetest lang kasi kami ng examiner that time. Kasi, sino magpe-prevail? Ganito lang kasi yung ano di dyan, eh. Yung zoning or yung kagustuhan ng client na may firewall. Siyempre, magpe-prevail si zone. Okay? Si zoning ang magpe-prevail. Sinabi R1, walang firewall, wag mo nang ipilit yung firewall. Oh, nilagin ko lang yung firewall na yan. Pero yung dasat may nasusundin nyo. Ibig sabihin, dinulat ko dyan, tama yan. You validate, architect ka nga eh. Dapat you process policies, laws, and ordinances, which I believe is correct, di ba? And kahit anong pilit ng gusto ng client mo na may firewall, pag sinabing R1 is without firewall, no one is above the law. In real life, may nagpapa-firewall. Di ba? Ang ganyan yan, bawal yan. Okay? O, oh. ngayon, o oh, sabi dito, kung may apartment naman daw, an apartment of 3.2 meters from the established grade, pwedeng 3.2 meters yan. Maximum yan, pwede bang bumaba, okay? Walang kaso. Tapos yung sinasabi nyo kasi 1.5 meters, ganito yan, okay? Portion lang, portion na merong ano, na perforated block. Or 50% of the site property, it should not be more than 3.2 meters. Kung so, maglalagay ka ng perforated block, Okay? Dapat 1.5 meters galing sa natural grade. Okay? Magkakaroon ka ng decorative blocks, 1.5 meters galing sa sahig. Haba lang ng pwedeng lagyan ng perforated block, 7 meters or 50% of the haba ng abatment kung saan side siya nakalocate. Okay? Pagda tayo sa R2. Pagda tayo sa R2. Ang R2, inaalaw naman natin ang firewall dyan. A firewall can be erected. Okay? On a maximum of 80% of the total length of the site property line. Halimbawa, meron kong lote. 8 by 10. Tapos nandito ngayon, yung building footprint mo. Lahat ba yan, firewall? Hindi pwede, di ba? O, o kasi imagine nyo, ito yung lote. Ayan yung bahay ng kapit-bahay mo. Ikaw ba? Kung ikaw yung kapit-bahay niyan, tayag ka from property line to property line, okay? Lahat yan, firewall? Bawal yan! Okay? O. Oh. Bakit bawal yan? Kung halimbawa, ikaw yung kapit-bahay niya, kung ganito ang ginawa mo sa firewall mo, okay? You are already run for proper natural light, proper ventilation, and view. Okay? Nakarapatan nyo yan. Lahat yung tatlong yan. Karapatan nyo yan. Diba? That is your right. Pwede mo ngayon siyang itibanda. Kinuha niya sa inyo yung mga karapatan niyo. Diba? And that's against your right. Diba? Natural light ventilation and view is your right. Bakit bawal yan? Kasi sabi sa building ko to, a firewall can be erected only 80% of the total length ng side property line. Okay? At pag R2, isang side lang ha? Isang side lang pag R2 ha? Pag ito isang side lang. Ibig sabihin yan, hindi lahat to firewall. Okay? Kung 10 meters to, anong sabi dyan? 80%. Ano ang 80% ng 10? 80% ng 10 is 8 meters. Meaning, ito lang ang firewall mo. Okay? Tapos itong natitira dito, yan, yan, abatment yan, abatment yan. Nakukuha nyo? Oh, kaya dapat ganito ang itsura niyan. Nakababa yan, nakaangat to. Ito abatment. Oh, ayan po. Oh. Yan ang firewall mo. So, ito lang yung 8 meters. 1 meter to, 1 meter to. Okay? So, ganyan kinocompute ang firewall, ha? Next, R3. There are two types of firewall construction for R3. Ano yung dalawang ano, firewall construction na yan? Either two side or one side. And rear. Okay? Yan. O, oh, next. Two. Okay, ito naman to. High density residential R3. Pag R3, dalawa daw ang firewall construction. Pwedeng dalawang side, pwedeng isang side at rear. Ganito lang yan. 8 by 10. O, oh, sabi dyan sa R3, two types of firewall construction. Two sides, one side and rear. Ibig sabihin, pwedeng ganito ang itsura ng development. 
Where do yung ganito ang itsura ng development? Two sides. Anong sabi dito pag firewall or two sides? Sabi dito, a firewall can be erected on a maximum of 85% of the total length of each side. Okay? Oh. So, ibig sabihin, kung 10 meters ito, kung 10 meters ito, 85% lang daw yung firewall. Anong 85% ng 10? 8.5 meters. So, ibig sabihin, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, 85% or 8.5 meters, yan lang yung firewall mo, yung natira, yan ay abutment. Next, oh, di ba? However, anong sabi dito? However, 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 oh, however, Firewall construction shall not exceed 65% of the total perimeter. Pag sinabi mong perimeter, perimeter is the summation of all sides, di ba? Oh. Summation of all sides, okay? 8 by 10 ang lote natin. Ano ang perimeter kung 8 by 10 ang lote? Yes, very good. It's 36 meters, okay? Anong sabi dito? However, yung firewall construction daw shall not exceed 65% of the total perimeter. Perimeter natin is 36 meters. Ano ang 65% ng 36? 23.4. Anong ibig sabihin niya? Dapat, pag tinotal ko yung firewall na tinayo ko dito sa R3 na development na ito, hindi siya lalampas sa 23.4. So kung 85% ng 10 at pareho to, uh, pareho tong 8.5, okay? Pareho tong 8.5. 8.5 plus 8.5 is 17. So ibig sabihin tama yung design natin. Nakuha nyo? Tama yung design natin ng firewall. Ganyan lang, ganitin yan. Sabi dito, oh, pag side and rear naman, sabi dito, a firewall can be erected a maximum of 90% of the total length of the side and rear property line. Okay? 90% daw. 90% daw. Okay? A firewall can be erected on a maximum of 90% of the total length of the side and rear property line. So, if, halimbawa, kung 8 by 10 ito, 90% ng 10. Madali lang yung 90% ng 10. Eh. Ang 90% ng 10 is 9. Ibig sabihin... 9 meters ang firewall, yung kateraso abatment. Okay? 9. Okay? However, dito naman sa likod. O, sabi kasi dito, pwede daw mag 100% firewall yung sa likod in case na yung rear property line is only 4 meters or less. Ang problema, 8 meters yung likod natin. So, hindi naman siya 4 or less. So, ibig sabihin, hindi pwede 100% firewall. Dapat 90. Ano ang 90% ng 8? So, 7.2. So, yung firewall mo dito, itong natitira, yan yung abatment. Yan na yun yung design ng firewall. Okay? Tapos, oh, anong sabi dito? However, sabi dito, side property line should not exceed 50% of the total perimeter. Oh, ang perimeter natin ay 36. Ano ang 50% ng 36? 18. Ngayon, ang tanong, pasok ba si 9 meters sa 18? Yes, ibig sabihin ay tama itong gawa natin dito. Paano yung sa R4? Kung paano ko kinumpute to, ganun din. Paano yung sa R5? Kung paano ko kinumpute to, ganun lang din. Okay? Walang difference. Nagsakaroon lang ng changes pagdating sa percentage. Okay?